Washington Examiner's Eddie Scary, yeah, that's his actual name, tweeted out this picture of Democrat Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. I'll tell you something, that jacket and coat don't look like a girl who struggles. Well, that's not creepy at all, is it, mate? I haven't seen conservatives lose it this bad since someone told them that you can be poor, but also on a fridge. Items poor families in America have. 99% of them have a refrigerator. Anyway, the right-wing infatuation with Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez took another step closer to restraining order yesterday when a journalist tweeted out a creepy photo of her backside as she walked through Congress. And then deleted it, of course. Now, when you partner this with Fox News' never-ending coverage slash awesome graphic-making ability, one has to ask, why are they so up in arms at everything this woman does says or wears oh it's the whole misogyny thing well when it comes from the top down what do you expect and I'd look her right in that fat ugly face she's gotten a little bit large I don't think you should dress like you weigh 120 pounds but in all seriousness if this isn't representative of how much work still has to be done to address workplace gender issues then I don't know what is now conservatives everywhere will claim it's about her policies and radical social ideas okay that's fine but what has that got to do with her outfits if you look at the way someone dresses to frame your argument, that's misogyny. But she, as she usually does, perfectly combated these ridiculous arguments, saying that if she wore a sack, they'd still harass her for it. And let's not forget the time when she brought up the high rents in DC, which is actually a prominent issue impacting millions of Americans across the country. The same political party that claimed to be for the blue collar, hard working American. Also note that same party elected a billionaire reality TV star to represent said forgotten Americans. Smeared and shamed her for it. In some of those uh, shoots during the campaign, she had these multi-thousand dollar outfits that could pay a month's rent in Washington, D.C. But wait, I thought liberals were the elitists out of touch with everyday struggles Americans face. Isn't the high cost of living something that everyday Americans face? I mean, not everyone is paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to read propaganda from a teleprompter, but it is good to know that you really sympathize with those Americans you claim to care about. The reality is, anything Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez says or does is going to piss off the party of the people. My bad, I mean party of white people. Because she's everything they're scared of. An intelligent, outspoken, unwavering woman of color who has arrived in DC not to necessarily make friends and stand by while creepy right-wingers post pictures of her rear, but to serve the working people who put her in office. Even if that means taking on the powerful entrenched interests of both parties and shaking up the established order. Which, judging by their response to her arrival, has some hedge funds shaking in their boots. For more on this, come over to my Instagram. I want to know what you think at Francis M. Maxwell. You can also become a member at tyt.com slash Francis. Want to see more videos like this? Then subscribe to the TYT channel below. And don't forget to become a TYT member. Get access for as little as $4.99 a month. Download the TYT Plus app on your phone or head over to tyt.com slash join today.